Um, she was very, she had a lot of medicine problems, m medical problems. She, um, she took like 30 pills a day, um, not counting vitamins. She took like freaking 10, 20 vitamins. Um, she had oxygen tank all the time. She always carried it. And, and she was diabetic. And I would think that she would be fit to be a parent because she has all these crazy things happening. Like, like the, which I don't, I'll get to later, but... Um, uh, she, um, she, she had her friends, uh, threaten my mom if, um, because, like, she was, mom was trying to get us back a little, and, um, she threatened my mom and, and with a freaking oxygen tank, um, and, and literally her friend cussed her out one time, um, countless times. Um, and it just, it went out of hand, and it, it, it went like, Lynn, she was just the worst. She was abuse, abusive to my mom. She freaking pulled my mom's hair out sometimes. Um, they got in fights a lot. It was literally an abusive relationship for me, my brother, and my mom, and my grandma. Because when my grandma found out, she literally... Gave up her retirement to get us back. Uh, it took her three years. It was countless dates of going to go to court and actually trying. It, it it was just a mess. It was a mess for everything. It was just. It was just. It's like a sandcastle. You literally stepping on sandcastle. Like, it's like getting stepped on and and not even getting grandma for grandma. She didn't even get the. She gave up her retirement for us and for my brother and I and 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 my mom and and it's just she did everything she could to get us back and and my Lynn was horrible of course and um manipulative and she lied to the courts and she told on like she was dishonest and um she she lied to me and my brother and said stuff about my grandma and my mom and how they're horrible people and actually I was living with that horrible person my Lynn Gross she she literally was tricking our minds because at this time um, I was three and I w I no I was like yeah I was three or like four and it went to like four to eight and I was with this person for about three years, and, and, um, she was, in, and my brother, six years to, like, one, two to six years old, we were young, and we didn't really know better, and we literally, we got taught different things, we both got taught inappropriate and bad things, and, and things that kids usually wouldn't learn until they were much older, like 18 plus, um, like, Cards Against Humanities level. Um, it, we got taught about, not even Cards Against Humanities, like higher than, like, literally like in your 30s. Um, and we were just in a horrible environment. Um, she literally had a boyfriend that was in a gang. Um, she cussed around us all the time. Um, it was just, it was, it was just... It was just not okay. It's not okay. Um, I could go countless and all on about what she did to us and and different things she did to us, and but it would I would be sitting here for about fifty million years because that that sounds over like dramatic and like way over count, but it was literally. She did countless things to my whole family. She kept us away from grandma. She she literally didn't let me go outside. She didn't let me have friends. She didn't let me, meaning me and my brother, she didn't let me do, she didn't let us do anything. Like, she would make us sleep in her bed all the time and, and she would do stuff to us. And it was just, it was, very confusing after like recovering and stuff um but when my grandma actually got us back after three years 
um, six years ago, um, she got us back, and we were hell. We literally treated her like crap. We thought she was a horrible person. Um, we 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 actually fell for um, her friends and stuff, and we were kind of too scared at, before she got us back to tell her what Lynn was doing because Lynn's friend said that if we told her anything to the, the one of um, the uh, investigators person that like kind of interviewed us, um, uh, if we said anything that she, he was gonna kill our whole family and counting myself. Um, and I was just scared and I, I was like eight at this time and I was, um, I actually thought she, he, he was going to hurt my family and I'm, at, to this day, I'm scared that one of her friends or her might come back for me and my brother. Um, but when I, when, when we, we, I've dealt with six years with maybe even nine years, like not even a month after Lynn got us, of trauma and anxiety and depression and depression not so much anymore, but a lot of anxiety and, and trauma and um, therapy and ADHD, which is attention uh, disorder, um, which people probably know already and 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 impulse control where I sometimes do stuff that I don't think about and um and I'm I think it's a joke which because I was learned uh, a lot of things that weren't jokes but they used it as a joke and that was confusing for me and I kind of made it into which it, it's got better um gotten better um but it, you know, you could imagine being in school with uh, different different kids that didn't learn this stuff. It was really hard for me, and I had a lot of issues in school. Uh, in school, not now, but um, and I was a target to kids because I was such. I'm such a, I guess, just abuse. It can lead to even worse than it was, like ten times worse. Because you're different from other kids, and you've experienced different things, and and to get kids to get what you what you like, what your problem is, you have to tell them your story, and I feel like it just there's like so much to it, and I just it's like different things. It just I I think so much about you know how. What if she goes for someone else? What if she gets other kids? What if she, what if Lynn gets, you know, I'm, I'm bouncing everywhere, but you guys kind of get, I, I feel like you guys could connect with some of this, but, um, anyways, about, uh, three months ago, um, it's 